Hello, this is Michael with Malpac. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today is uh, part two of the 1641 rebuild uh, 0402 um, series. I'm, there's only, this is part two in the final part. Uh, today, or previous to today, I, uh, I put together the engine from long, long block status um, after rebuild. And then um, today I'm actually going to start the engine uh, for the first time ever. So this is the first time you're going to hear it and I'm going to hear it. And um, a couple things that I use is a starter with a bell housing and then um, a battery and then you need fuel. So I have a can that I use. Um, thanks so much for joining today and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then like the video and then share with uh, with others. Thank you so much. Let's get started. The first thing I do is I install my bench starter bell housing. So it has the bell housing of the transmission and then a starter hook to it. And I got the starter, um, well the starter is brand new, but I got the wiring from um, some random parts I've picked up uh, several, well, 10, 15 years ago. And uh, eventually one day I want to rewire it, but uh, today's not that day. But anyway, so I install the 17 millimeter nut on the starter and then across from the starter. I figure those are the two, you know, that makes sense because the torque of the starter is not going to tweak the whole entire thing so two bolts should be sufficient and then I hook up the uh, positive to the coil and then the other blue wire that I have I hook up to the uh, oil sending unit and then um, I have the battery terminals red for positive and then negative uh, excuse me black for negative I hook up the uh, switch and the button to the my cart's handle. There's the battery and there's the button up there. Here's the engine. So when you're starting the engine, uh, what I normally do is I put gas down the carburetor and start the engine because it helps with the pump. Um, you have to pump, fuel pump, uh, get the fuel have the fuel go through the line so at the more you the faster you pump the fuel pump the more gas will come through and so um, to this point I I've been starting trying to start the engine I had to replace a couple different fuel pumps because the one I had didn't work for some reason and so right now I'm the fuel filter from the gas tank to the fuel pump that one has fuel in it and then now uh, the fuel is in the second fuel filter up by the coil and so what I'm doing is I'm just waiting for the fuel to get up to the carburetor and so it it takes a little bit uh, just take your time eventually the fuel will get into the bowl and start just like it did right now and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple more squirts of the fuel and then um, I'll be able to uh, start the engine. Oh, and, and I'm going to uh, adjust the thermostat real quick on the choke. So once I do that, I'm going to have the butterfly um, kind of stay open just a little bit. But it closed most of the way so I can start it up and it'll run right until it gets warm then it'll be fine later so when it's running I'm gonna try to not talk very much because well, you know it's just a running engine um, I'll have it running for a little while so you guys can hear what it sounds like and everything
All right, so this engine is a 1641 engine, uh, freshly rebuilt. Runs really good. I'm happy with uh, how it runs at the moment, and um, I think it'll be a good addition to a project. Thanks so much for viewing today and listening to me and uh, showing you how to start up an engine on a bench. Um, I've been doing it this way for years now, and um, I've never had an engine fall off my cart. So it it, it doesn't shake off anything. Um, it, it just pretty much stays uh, put where I, I put it. So uh, thanks so much again, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and then uh, like the video, and then please share the video with those that you um, feel that uh, might benefit from this, and I hope... Um, you're able to do this on your own, and um, I hope your project's going well. Thanks so much again, and have a great day.